Hey guys, Noel here. On today's video, I'm gonna going over on how to do a compaction test or in situ density test. Have you ever asked by your consultant or your manager these questions? Do you know how to do compaction tests? And do you know how to compute compaction test results? A quality engineer or a civil engineer should know how the results derive I will first want to show you the procedure how to conduct compaction or field density test on site. By the way, uh, the consultant representative or the quality engineer shall select the area to be tested and shall mark on the drawing. But before we go on, if you are new here, please uh, consider subscribing so that you won't miss our interesting videos like this. There are many ways to determine the compaction of soil but here I used sand replacement method which we are using on our site. And before blinding works, you have to make sure that the inspection request is submitted to the consultant and compaction test report is passed. But first, uh, here are the apparatus and equipment for the in situ density test. We have pouring cylinder over here, large screwdriver, uh, pointed steel rod, as you can see, and sun or silica container. And you have glass plate. And we have sample container, plastic bag or plastic container. As you can see right and we have meter and we have hammer as well as you can see and bend spoon debber right he's holding that the assistant right and uh, the gloves I'm sorry <laughs> we don't have glove at this moment but uh, it should be required and we have uh, metal trays 500 mm square, uh, 50 mm depth with 200 mm diameter hole in the center, as you can see. And we have brass over there, right? Now, here is the procedure on how to do the compaction test or in situ density test. Number one, place the metal tray. The technician can now place the metal tray as per consultant or quality engineer preferred location. As a quality engineer, you should make sure that the area to be tested is compacted and within the area submitted in the inspection request, right? So make sure that. And number two, marking the sample container as a QC engineer, you should see to it that the sample container is marked by a technician or its location and other related markings. Just make sure all the marks are correct. Alright, ensure that. Number three, digging the soil. A helper will start to dig the soil by using pointed steel rod. 250 mm long 16 to 20 mm diameter and a hammer the head of the rod shall be striking at slow speed and at conditional pressure use gloves for hand protection to prevent hand injury so ensure that on the part of safety all right number for putting the low soil in the sample container. The dug loose soil shall be placed in the sample container. Make sure there are no any pieces of soil shall be wasted. Otherwise, it will affect the results of compaction. Number five, measuring the depth of hole. While the digging progresses, Monitor the depth of hole by measuring a roller. 
make sure that the dip is 200 mm or 150 mm depending on the requirement of the specification so you have to make sure that that is very critical if the dip is not yet achieved continue digging until it reaches the desired or required depth number six pouring silica in the hole once the hole is properly shaped to the diameter of 200 mm just the same diameter that of the hole of the metal tray and the depth has width place the pouring cylinder onto the metal tray pour the silica inside the pouring cylinder make sure no one will hold or touch the pouring cylinder that may cause vibration number seven taking the silica from the hole the hole once filled with silica and when the hole has fully filled remove the silica and place it to extra container it may use again for the next set of compactions here is now the formulas to compute the compaction test or in situ density test determine the bulk density of sand rho s equal m s over v where m s equal m1 minus m2 minus m3 rho s means bulk density of sun ms mass of sun to fill the container v stands for volume of container m1 mass of sun before pouring in the container m2 mass of sun and cone m3 mass of sun after pouring the container determine the bulk density of soil rho so equal m e over m f multiplied to rho s where m f equal m1 minus m2 minus m4 rho s o means bulk density of soil m e mass of soil excavated mf mass of sun required to fill the hole and m1 mass of sun before pouring into the hole m2 mass of sun in cone m4 mass of sun after pouring into the hole determine the dry density rho d equal 100 multiplied by rho is o over 100 plus w determine the degree of compaction doc equal rho d over mdd multiplied by 100 rho d means dry density of soil rho s o it means bulk density of soil W means moisture content and MDD maximum dry density and DOC degree of compaction. That is it to it. Hoping that the above has helped the quality engineers or civil engineers to better understand how uh, the density test using the sun replacement method is done please watch out for our next video how to calculate the compaction or in situ density test report there are two interesting videos appeared on your screen you might want to watch it please watch it now don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you won't miss our new videos Thank you.